One of the cool things about working at a theme park is that the employees and cast members oftentimes get to preview new rides and attractions before everybody else does. So how does that work? How do you get in and which ones did I get to do? Caster employee previews are one of the really neat things that happens when you're working at a park. Now, of course, parks are constantly looking for new ways to bring in guests and customers to attract new people to come to the park, to make people come back again. The easiest way to do that is to bring in new rides, new attractions, new shows, and things like that. Things that people say, hey, I haven't experienced that yet. Let's go. Parks are constantly adding new things. One of the perks that comes with working at the park is that oftentimes you are given the chance to ride that or experience it before the regular guests do. And parks will do this in different ways. I've had the privilege of being able to experience cast previews at Busch Gardens, at Silver Dollar City, and at Disney when I worked there. All kind of a little bit different. Now, there's a couple purposes for this. One, it gets your employees excited about the new attraction. They've gotten to experience it. They know what it is. For them, it's really cool. And it gives them a talking point with the guests who are coming in the park. Hey, is this thing worth doing? Oh, yeah, I've done it. It's awesome. So it's a great talking point that way. It also gives your employees a good excuse to essentially give free advertising and PR to the park because they're going to go home and they're going to tell their families and their friends and then their friends will tell friends and they'll probably post on social media that, hey, I got to do this. I mean, you want proof? Look at the people posting that they've gotten to fly the Millennium Falcon already and Star Wars. Disney isn't even open yet. So there's a lot of excitement that it will help to build up. But the other big benefit is it allows the people that are working on that new ride or attraction to practice with living people, the load, unload, bring people in, the whole operations and everything, they actually get an opportunity to run the ride live with real people, but at the same time, these people are going to be happy, friendly, forgiving, understanding as the new ride works because they do the same kind of thing. It makes it a much easier process to finish your training and get used to how things are supposed to work with real people before the possible grumpy guests come in. The ones that are demanding, this is the new ride, why isn't it running smooth? I paid money to come in. It gets you to the point where you're able to run it smooth so that way there's not as many issues. Because new rides, you're working and learning things and working bugs out and stuff like that. It lets you do it with friendly people who are very understanding because they're getting an opportunity to see it before everybody else. So there's a lot of good that comes out of the ride previews for the employees. I basically got to do four different ones. One at Bush, one at Silver Dollar City, and two at Disney. The one that I got to do at Bush was actually kind of a special media day as well as a ride preview, and that's when they opened up Shikra. Shikra is the dive coaster at Bush Gardens, and it was the first one in the States that they had built. It's a great ride. I actually first got to experience Shikra with the Florida Coaster Club for their media day. They actually had not even finished building the station yet, and I've done a whole video that talks about that media day and what it was like, so I'll link that for you up above. I had a lot of fun, but then they opened it up shortly afterwards to employee previews as well, where you would have a couple days for a few hours, typically before the park opened, where the employees could go and they could ride the ride before the guests came in and they could experience it. They actually did a couple during the day when the park was open. And so over at Rhino Rally where I was working, we actually had one day where they were doing employee previews all day. And we actually sent people over in shifts. Okay, guys, we're going to give you 30 minutes to an hour to go run over to Shikra, go get a couple rides in, experience it, and then come back, and then we'll send a couple more. And so it was kind of fun that way. But we all got an opportunity to go over and check this thing out. It made it a really neat experience because we were able to do it a little bit while the park was open, which is actually kind of an unusual thing, as well as being able to take a little time out of our own work. I mean, it was kind of neat. We were actually getting paid to ride the coaster briefly. That was really kind of special to be able to do it with Shikra. At Disney, I got to partake in two. One I wasn't actually officially a cast member at, and then the other one I was. The one I wasn't was Expedition Everest. It was actually the first time we'd been inside a Walt Disney World park at all. That same video I talked about where I got to check out Shikra, I'll talk about Expedition Everest thing. We actually got to go in for commercial filming, but as we finished up the commercial filming, they opened it up for a few hours for cast previews. So only cast members were able to get into that. 
And the way cast member got in is they actually had to have their ID card with them. So if they were walking up to get on the coaster, they would actually have to hold up their ID card to the people at the gates to let them know, see, I am really a cast member. Now, Disney at the time, if I remember right, allowed the cast member and one guest in. So they could bring, like, their kid or their spouse or something like that. And they got to experience the ride before everybody else. And it was open for a few hours that way just for cast members. And then later on that day, they went ahead and they did what's called a soft opening, where they went ahead and opened it up to guests, but they hadn't told the guests it was open. So whatever guests happened to come by, they got to check it out and ride. Now, this was kind of late in the process. It was just about to open. But for Disney, anytime you went to a cast preview, you always had to make sure you had your ID card with you. You could not get into a cast preview without your ID card. That was your proof that you were a cast member. Otherwise, you could have been anybody sinking in and that wasn't going to fly. And, and that really came true when I went to the other cast preview. And that was for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Parade. The Boo To You Parade that they do at the party. They had actually announced before the Halloween parties kicked off that they were going to do a special cast preview of the Boo To You Parade. And it was only open to cast members and it was well after the park had closed for the night. They closed the park at night. Let everybody do the shopping, got all the guests out, and it wasn't until long after the guests were gone that they started the parade. I want to say that the park had closed at like 9, and then the parade itself was at midnight or something like that. Again, you had to have your cast badge to get in. This was only cast members, no family members. And you had to wear your ID tag. So we had lanyards to hang on, so everybody had their ID right in front of them. And we all lined up right around the hub. They didn't even do the full parade route. They kind of rolled the parade down through Frontierland and then stopped and queued it up there just so that way the people in the parade could practice. They kicked the music up and then they slowly rolled through and us cast members, we just went nuts because we were a bunch of goobers. <laughs> it, it's an awesome parade. It was actually the first time I'd gotten the chance to see the parade at all. And when you're there with a whole bunch of other cast members, it's like a giant party. We had a blast. And it helped give the people doing the parade an extra practice in front of crowds. They had practiced before that, but they'd done it overnight when there was nobody there. And it's a whole different dynamic and feeling when you've got people there watching or participating with you. So it allowed them to get that opportunity to practice with people cheering and yelling and screaming and doing the whole thing and being able to interact with the crowds. And it just brings it to a whole different level. And to be able to see it before everybody else yeah that's that was just cool that honestly that's one of my favorite memories of disney is being at the boot to you parade with a whole bunch of my friends that i worked with and we had an absolute blast that was really cool the one i got to do at silver dollar city was actually for outlaw run and silver dollar city did theirs a little bit differently they didn't necessarily have a cast preview day they had a time now, again i mentioned the media days this is when they invite people from outside the parks from tv and radio and vloggers and stuff like that to come check out the new attraction so that way they send up all this free publicity and you get to see it on the news and online and all sorts of stuff like that so they really want to drum up all this attention for outlaw run we had a media day in the morning that went to i want to say like noon or one and i had actually been out there a little bit for that helping with some things but then as the media day finished then they opened up the ride for the cast members, the park employees, and their families. Silver Dollar City allowed the employees to bring in their whole family for it, which was really nice. And they had it open for several hours that was just employees and their families getting ready to ride. I want to say it was like three or four hours long, if I remember right. I don't remember for sure. And we got to come in and we got to ride and ride and re-ride and ride some more. And what was fun was Silver Dollar City because several of the employees are a little older we got to see several people that you wouldn't necessarily believe riding roller coasters riding Outlaw Run. It was really kind of neat. But they also had some snacks out there, which doesn't always happen for employee previews. But they had some water and a few granola bars and a few other things that we were able to munch on while we were riding. And it just made it a really nice opportunity for us to experience at the time, what was a one-of-a-kind thing? It was the only wood roller coaster that went upside down since Son of Beast had been torn out because it was a piece of junk. That was a whole nother deal. Yeah, look at my list of worst coasters ever and you'll see where Son of Beast ranks on that. So Outlaw Run really provided an incredible experience for us to be able to come out and, again, get together with your friends and ride on it with a whole bunch of people who would have been watching this whole thing be built. It was really fun because working on the train, we watched it go from just scraping the ground and clearing it all the way up to finished process. We got to watch the whole entire thing from the train. 
it's a what a neat opportunity to be able to actually write it with my other friends on the train and other co-workers that were out there and get to experience this incredible ride. So those are the cast previews that I got to participate in and a little bit of what they're like. And have you ever had an opportunity to do that for a ride at your park? I'd love to hear your stories. Please don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. If you know somebody who's been in a park who got to experience this or, or would like other people to know, let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and be sure to check out the description below for Patreon information. I love my patrons. Thank you so much for merchandise, for links to all my sites and social media and stuff like that. It's all down in the description. Thank you so very much for watching and God bless. Now, of course, theme parks are constantly looking for new ways to bring guests to come. <laughs> okay. So those are the media days I got to experience and a little bit of a look at what they're like. Have you gotten experience? That's not media days. If you want to know whenever I have a new video out, well, hey, make sure you hit that button right there and subscribe. If you want to see another video right now, well, I've got a great one right here for you. And if you want to be like these wonderful people here and help support me financially on Patreon, well, check out that link right there and it'll take you to it. Thanks so much and God bless.